Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about Gini impurity. In our previous classes, we already discussed about entropy, information gain, and how to construct decision trees. So please watch those classes and come back here because those concepts will help you a lot in understanding Gini impurity. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So coming to Gini impurity, we'll take an example data set, the example data set which we are following from our previous classes, play tennis data set and we'll understand the concept of Gini impurity. So the example data set which we consider here is a play tennis data set and in this data set we are having a binary class classification. Uh, we are having 14 data points. Uh, in these 14 data points, we are having 5 negative points and uh, 9 positive points. Uh, First, we will understand how to calculate Gini impurity. Then we will understand at the end of the class, we will understand what's the use of this Gini impurity. So with this data set, we will understand how to calculate Gini impurity. Gini impurity is given as G of Y is equal to 1 minus sigma I is equal to 1 to N P of I whole square. In this I is equal to 1 to N means N classes. How many classes we have in this data set? Two class so n value is equal to 2 p of i means probability of ith class here we are having two classes first class second class n means negative class y means positive class you can think of it anyway so probability of ith class whole square this is how we calculate this is the equation for calculating genie impurity so in our data set out of 14 9 are positive classes 5 are 5 points are negative classes. How we calculated the probability value 1 minus 9 by 14 whole square plus 5 by 14 whole square. If you calculate the value, we will get it as 0 0.4598. This is how we calculate Gini impurity. Now let us understand how the Gini impurity value is changing with the change in our example data set. So on the x axis we are taking probability of positive class and on the y axis we are taking Gini value, Gini impurity value. So positive probability of value between 0 and 1 and now we will understand how Gini value changes with the change in our example data set. Suppose if you are having in our data set if you are having 0 positive values and 14 negative values means all are negative values. If you calculate the Gini impurity value, G value is equal to G is equal to 0. And the same way, if you if one positive point and 13 negative points are there. So one positive means we are increasing the positive points. What happens to Gini impurity value now? So G is equal to 0 0.1328 means Gini impurity value increasing with the increase in positive data points. So when we will get the maximum Gini impurity value, if you are having equal number of 7 positive and 7 negative data points, means Gini impurity value will be maximum. When we will have maximum value, if you are having equal positive and negative points, then we will have the maximum Gini impurity value. What is the maximum Gini impurity value we got? 0.5. From then onwards, 0.5, from then onwards, if you keep on increasing the positive data points, a Gini impurity value keeps on decreasing and it will move. If you are having 14, means all positive points and zero negative points, we are having Gini value as zero. So what, what is, what's this? This is working exactly same as entropy. Entropy is also doing the same thing. It's, it is working same as entropy. What's the difference between entropy and Gini impurity? In entropy, we are having the maximum value of 1, but in Gini impurity, we are, ha we are having the maximum value as 0.5. That is the only difference. So in place of entropy, we can use Gini impurity. That is the use of Gini impurity. In place of entropy, we can use Gini impurity. What is the use of using Gini impurity in place of entropy? Why, why we have to use that? Calculating Gini impurity is computationally cheap when compared to entropy value because in entropy we are having log value. Calculating log value is a bit complex, computationally complex. That is why in place of entropy we use Gini impurity value. Remaining all the things same, we calculate Gini impurity value and we calculate information gain using Gini impurity value and we use that information gain val value for constructing the decision trees. So in place of entropy, we can use Gini impurity because it is computationally cheap when compared to 
entropy value that's the use of gini impurity hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you